This is one, two, three, four, day five of the rescue, okay? So I'm gonna feed him again. I'm gonna probably do one, two more days in the small little tank here. Whole purpose really doing that, I'm explaining it thoroughly, is I want everybody to get used to everybody. There are some aggressive fish, the peacock, Curious George, the Oscar, the ghost, the shovel knives, you see the little black thing. Those are fish can be very, very aggressive towards each other. So if I let him at least acclimate to his environment, I'm gonna release him very soon. But more importantly, I wanna make sure he's eating, he's thriving, and he's in the new monster fish keeper room. Actually, I call it the, the grow out tank here. So I'm gonna feed him again in this box, and he's gonna kill it, watch. And there he is, right away. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the rest of the guys and always, I like to see who goes at it first. Curious George, Oscar, or the Peacock. I don't have a name for him yet, but who goes for it first? So let's see. First, let me get some, some food in my hand. Get a, a nice uh, big piece. Oh yeah. You guys see that? Let's see what happens. Bring it down low. Go for it. Oh, was that Peacock? Yes, it was. Let's try one more. This time we get a little, a little bigger piece. About this size. Let's see who goes for it first. Curious George went for it. So number two. So I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of drop a few in there, let them get used to it. There we go. So one thing you guys notice is Sharky, the guy in the back I call Sharky, there he is swimming around. Now his mouth is not that big. So what I tend to do is I tend to use blood worms, which I can show you right now, which look just like this to feed him because his mouth's not that big. Now, Oscar, Curious George, and Peacock have bigger mouths to open up wider. And most people don't know is that the mouth of a fish is like a vacuum. That's how it sucks the, fi that's how it sucks the food in and actually you know, swallows in most cases. So let's go feed him the blood worms and see what happens. Drop it in there. This is my typical morning feed. So I typically feed this fish about 6.40, 6.45, 6.30, around that time. So they're used to a certain time frame being fed. And I drop a, a variety of food in this tank. Um, the consideration over time though, is this, I call this a grow out tank. So what's gonna happen over time, <clears throat> these fish are gonna get a lot bigger, especially the knife, uh, Curious George, the Peacock Oscar, you can see him right there. There's something I saw on his backside. I don't, I don't know what that is. Maybe he got stuck on a rock. I'll keep an eye on that. But you can see, this is not a big enough tank for these fish to max out. So they'll end up going to the monster tank downstairs and they'll end up growing out even bigger. So I'm super excited, but this is the grow out tank. And that's day five. He's doing really well. Releasing, it's coming very shortly. So if you like my videos, you wanna hear more about me. But first, before I drop out of here, let's talk about the mental health. Being in the environment of my aquariums, I love them, but causing a lot of stress. And even though it causes a lot of stress, I still keep going. The first thing to do is to admit how you're feeling. Do not justify your emotions. And you do not have to say, well, I don't need to do that. Stress. What's the definition of stress? What does it mean for you? Keep looking at stress as how it means to you and how you want to overcome it. Acknowledge those emotions. Get there. Hit the comment. Hit the subscribe. And I'll see you soon.